Hey everybody, this is Lisa from Scrapping Fancy. I'm coming back to keep working on my junk journal in the printer's drawer. I missed last week. I know I did. Um, sometimes life just wins, right? What can I say? But I haven't given up, so I'm here. Also didn't really get any farther than we got when we worked on this together. And we were working on the little row. So what we're going to do is just keep going. Um, filling in sections and just <clears throat> kind of a, a craft along with me. We'll just kind of talk about what I'm doing and all that good stuff. So right now, let's finish this row. One, two, three, four. We've got four pieces to cut. And if you remember last time, what we did was we measured, we made sure our template fit, and then we're just using a template to fill these in. And we're gonna just keep using that template. We're gonna save it, right? Because over on this side, we've got the same row. And we've got the same row in other sections of the printer's drawer. So this we're gonna hang on to this because if you're like me, I measure once, that's good enough. I don't like to, measuring is boring. So we've got our little piece and we're just gonna keep working while we chat. Um, I have got book page, all the things that you would normally put in a junk journal. I've got fabric strips. I have got all kinds of bits of vintage paper. I've got vintage, vintage wallpaper. Um, I have got ledger, of course, because we can't do anything junk journally without ledger. And I've got some paper ruffles. And I was thinking in this next space here, we might want to do a paper ruffle just for some awesome dimensions, something different. So I'm looking for one because I don't know if you're like me, but it bugs me when the writing, I can kind of, I don't know, I can kind of go with sideways, but I think um, in a piece like this, I kind of, kind of don't want to do that. So I'm going to use my little template here. And I kind of figured that my ruffle would already be about the same size, which is really convenient. And I'm just gonna trim. And I'm just using the scissors in the template to trim that. Get my little pieces out of the way. We don't throw away paper ruffle, not even these little pieces. These little pieces are super cute, stapled onto the top of a cluster or a tag. So don't throw those. They're always cute for something, okay? Template here so we don't lose track of it. We're gonna see how it's gonna fit. I think I gotta trim some of this um, raggedy bottom here to make sure that it sits in there good. So let's see. Ooh, yep, fits in there really nicely. So of course, what we're using to glue these in is not Fabri-Tac. Now I'm not, I'm not the anti-Fabri-Tac. I like Fabri-Tac too but we talked about this last time. I'm using Mod Podge. Um, I've used Mod Podge with these kinds of things for a long time and I trust it because I've never, I have had shadow, I've had shadow boxes that have hung in my house, been exposed to different temperatures, all kinds of things. And I've never had a problem with the Mod Podge letting go or coming up or had to go in and fix a bunch of stuff. Um, so I like them. So what we're going to do is just put our Mod Podge on our paper ruffle like so. And we talked about this last time too, but I'll reiterate in case you didn't watch that one. We don't want air bubbles. Um, it's very hard to fix an air bubble. Um, they say that you can, but it doesn't look right to me even when you fix it. So what we're gonna do is get Mod Podge in the opening and Mod Podge on the back of the piece of paper that we're putting in there. And I'm gonna use the light to make sure that it's got glue on it. The whole piece is nicely covered so that I don't end up with an air bubble. I have never successfully fixed an air bubble. I think that that is not true. I do not think you can fix those. So anyway, there's my bubble in there, or my bubble, no bubbles. 
no bubbles. And the best way that you can make sure you don't have bubbles is take something like a bone folder. I know a lot of people use like credit cards and scrapers and things, um, but you need something that's gonna fit in the opening. So that's why I'm saying bone folder. Um, I would assume you could use a butter knife if you don't have a bone folder, but just press that down to make sure that there are no bubbles. Um, and then we're gonna look for the next piece that we wanna put in there. And I'm kinda noticing that we don't really have any blue in there yet. And I have this kind of bluish uh, French receipt. So let's uh, cut ourselves a piece of that. Just lay our template down. Now this is just the way I like to do it. If you wanna measure every piece, you know, be my guest. I don't wanna, if you like to measure, I do not want to take that fun away from you, okay? Because to each his own, and we all need to do what we need to do to survive. There's our template, and there's our blue piece. You know, and here's, I almost forgot my own rule, which is to check your fit before you glue it in. So once we know that it's going to fit, then you can use your handy-dandy pokey tool and get that out of the opening. I'm distracted by little bits. We're going to do the same thing. Mod Podge all over the back, checking for air bubbles like that. Air bubbles are the enemy. I'll tell you what else would be the enemy is if I dumped over that whole bottle of Mod Podge on my printer's tray. Yeah, that'd be real good. Okay. So we got that in there. Let's make that a little steadier. And get our piece down in here. And I gotta get my head in there so I can see my sides. And there it is in there. Take our bone folder and we'll just burnish. Make sure it's not crooked. Yep, there. Okay. So we've got text, music, text, ruffle, text. Um, I was thinking maybe next we should do um, an embossed piece or I was thinking too that a piece of wallpaper might look nice. So let's look at our wallpaper choices. I do kind of like that one. So we're just gonna use our template or if you like, you can measure. Take the template, make sure that we like it on there and cut out our piece of wallpaper. Yes, I know that I could use a clip to hold the template, but you know why I like to struggle. I think it builds character. Not really. Okay. So my top's a little raggedy, didn't cut that very good. So let's just fix that there. That's better. It's, it really isn't that important that these pieces are sensationally perfect because we are, or I am, but this is really just my base. Um, I'm going to do a lot to this by the time we're done in terms of filling in and decorating these openings. Um, so if it isn't 100% perfect, it's going to be okay. Get my head in there and make sure I'm corner to corner. And then burnish that down. And if you notice the three that I put in last time, remember I told you that you wouldn't, the Mod Podge dries clear and you won't be able to see it. See, it, it's just wood. I, I wasn't lying. It did dry clear and I can see right now that that corner's not down. So we got to just get in there with the tip of the bone folder and get that corner down. There we go. And then we only have one piece left to go. Um, so sometimes one thing I'll do is stand up. So I'm standing up now and looking down at that. And I'm thinking I want to kind of finish off with something in the pink family, possibly, because I got pink right here, but it's not echoed by anything. And I have this pink piece here 
that I'll check on the template here because it looks like it might be pretty darn close. And we'll give this a slice here. Cut. Cut. So today is Wednesday, and I live in Minnesota. I don't know what you guys heard on the news, but we had a killer snowstorm yesterday. Um, blizzard, whiteout, huge accumulation of snow, um, icy roads, slippery, um, the whole nine. Uh, it is February 23rd today, I think, and I was not in the mood for that. The longer I live in Minnesota, the less I enjoy the winter. Um, really don't enjoy it uh, like I used to. It's just the older you get, I think the harder it gets. So, and when you get your head in there, make sure that your corner's down. So did not enjoy yesterday. My husband drove me to work and picked me up from work and I was enormously grateful because um, it was not enjoyable. The traffic was bad. Drop my bone folder. There we go. It was not a fun day for anybody. Make sure that we're down nice and burnished, okay? There, I think the pink was a, a nice choice. I think that that row looks really good. Also remember, this is a little thin piece of paper. Even if it's glued in here and you're not happy with it, glue another piece of paper down on top of it. People get way too worked up about that. Seriously, glue another piece of paper down on top of it. It's going to be okay. I did cheat a little bit because I thought it'd be boring. So I did go ahead and make a template for this row. Um, it's the same width, of course, but a different length. So I just measured myself a little template and I've checked to make sure that I'm happy with the way it fits. So this is my template and I am just gonna go straight up this wide row. And what I, I do wanna keep some variety in my base, like I don't want the same thing next to the same thing. So I was kind of thinking that starting with something in that blue family down here might be kind of a nice balance for this. So let's see what we have over here in my pile of papers. Oh, maybe that. I think this is a piece, I think this is a download, like a digital download. I am super sorry. I do not remember from where. So I'm gonna just cut a piece out using my handy dandy template with some text on it because I don't want a plain blue piece in there. Not that there's anything wrong with a plain piece, I just don't want that right there. So anyway, I'm off today, I'm off on Wednesdays and I just felt really lucky. My husband went out this morning um, and he said it was still pretty slippery, you know, the plows are out, they're still putting down um, de-icing stuff. Uh, so not very nice roads or anything. And so I felt pretty lucky to be off today. Although of course yesterday would have been nicer. I wouldn't have had to drive in the snow at all. So I'm going to fight with this piece apparently, but it fits in there pretty nicely. Take my little pokey thing so that I can pull it out and get some Mod Podge on it. I don't know where you guys live, but if you're in uh, sunshine and green grass and flowers, I'm really happy for you and I'm also really jealous all at the same time. I can't remember the last time that I was so anxious for spring to come. It can come right now as far as I'm concerned. I am just dying to be outside. I want the blue sky. I want to go for a walk. I want to go to the park. I want to go fishing. I want to grill. I want to play bags, everything. I just want to be outside. Um, and the sooner the better. Um, my niece and nephew and their family have a uh, camper and there's a campground that we love called Camp Dells. Um, 
and I can't wait to go there. It's one of our favorite places to be. Um, they have lots of activities and shuffleboard and golf and a mini golf course and you can rent a boat, you can go swimming. And we just cook out and hang out and sit around the fire and play with the dogs and it's just luxury. Okay, so we've got that piece in. I'll just keep working up and chatting and uh, maybe I'm thinking an embossed piece might be nice next. I'm looking through my pile here, just kind of seeing what I've got. What I pulled out. And I've also got this basket with some embossed paper scraps in it. Um, I get a lot of my embossed paper from Heather at Rose Hill Paper Cottage. Um, you have to watch uh, watch her on Instagram uh, at Rose Hill Paper Cottage. She um, puts out an announcement when she's going to sell her handmade paper, which she'll do in like a monthly, you know, collection. So if you want to follow her, that's a, a place to get really nice uh, handmade paper that she also has embossed. So it's very beautiful and you would really like it. So Got, oh, how about a piece of embossed ledger? There's my template. So anyway, it's Rose Hill Paper Cottage. Um, she does great videos. She does great tutorials. She has a YouTube channel. Um, but I started following her um, when I noticed her monthly handmade paper collections coming out and started grabbing those. So... Um, she charges an incredibly reasonable price for what you get also. Uh, I'm trying to think of who some of my other favorite people are. If you haven't, uh, if you've stumbled across me but you don't listen to a lot of people on YouTube, um, I also like to listen to Jessica Rapp. Uh, she makes wonderful things and has does really great advice and does really fun live sales on YouTube. Um, I like Tracy Fox. She makes wonderful downloads and talks about those on her YouTube channel and shows you how to use them and just um, has a lot of interesting creative ideas. Uh, I like to listen to um, Heather at Ruby and Pearl. Uh, Gail at Gail Agustinelli. Uh, uh, I think I want it to go this way. I'm trying to think who else I like. Can't think of anybody else right now. Um, if you guys have some people that you like, that you think I might like, you want to drop it in the comments. I'm always looking for new people to listen to and new things to learn. Oh, I like to listen to Nick the Booksmith. Um, I like to listen to... Kim Newberg. There we go. And because this is very messy, I like to keep my baby wipes handy. Baby wipes are great for getting glue and sticky stuff off your fingers. They'll come nice and clean. So a project like this, it's a good thing to have them nearby and get the glue off your fingers so that you don't have super messy fingers. So we'll push that down in there. Oh, I really like to listen to Meg at Meg Journals. Um, she always has very good advice. Um... And then one of the first people that I started listening to when I started doing all this and I started really transitioning into making journals and things like that was Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. Um, she's amazing. She makes a video every day. And she's just an endless fountain of just creativity. I can't imagine making a video every day 
and having enough ideas for that and being able to do that. She is absolutely amazing. So that's somebody too, if you haven't listened to it. And I also really enjoy listening to Brie at 1134 Press. So those are the people I can think of right now off the top of my head. But like I was saying, if you um, have somebody you think that I might enjoy, please, please let me know. And if I think of somebody, I'll keep telling you. Um, these are all people that I... Uh, Oh, 1134 Press, um, Brie does not have a YouTube or an Etsy shop. I don't, I'm not sure that she sells, uh, but the other people are people that I also do try to support. Ooh, I like that piece of wallpaper in there. But one thing I can see is we're starting to need another piece of text, so we'll probably do text next. Not text max, although that sounds good too. I've got chili in the crock pot. What are you guys making for supper today? Um... After all that snow yesterday, chili just sounded really good. It's just, I just make, it's just simple chili, you know, just meat, beans, tomatoes, tomato sauce, seasonings. My husband is not an onions and peppers guy, so that is not in my chili. But then we like to eat it over either uh, rice or um, noodles. I do, I know it's, I do like chili on noodles. I know it's not everybody's thing. Um, and then I like cheese and sour cream and tortilla strips on the top. You know, those ones that you get that you're supposed to put on your salad. I like those. I'm just going to look and make sure 21 minutes and I wanted to go no longer than half an hour. So we have a little time left. See, I'm getting all nice and clean here so I can continue. And make sure that my piece of wallpaper is stuck down. I like this piece of wallpaper here. That worked out really well. Yep, that's in there really good. And I need another baby wipe. So I think the chili will be good. I wanted to get cornbread, but the store didn't have any cornbread. And Wednesday is my day off. And I'll put chili in the in the crock pot. Okay, that was pretty easy, but I'm not baking on top of it. So I hate to say it, but I'm not making cornbread. Please don't be horrified. I will make, you know, I'll make noodles if we want it or rice, whatever else we want with the chili, but I'm just I'm not going to get everything out and make cornbread. I'm just not in the mood for that, I don't think. So now we have to think about what to put in this next opening. Can't really do a ruffle can't do text because see there's text on this ruffle so I'm thinking that our option is music and he, look here like a miracle here's some music so I'm just going to cut off a piece to stick in there okay because I am I do want um my base to not be all too samey samey I want to flow in the designs and colors so I am kind of doing some designing as I'm putting the base in. Because even though we're going to decorate, um, it's not like the base isn't going to show. So you do want to put a little time into making sure that your base is kind of nicely flowing and you're liking how it's coming together. Got a wanderer. Got it. Okay. So here's a piece of music paper, a little bit of a wonky cutting job, so I'm just going to fix that right here. And check the bottom here, it doesn't look even. Nice thing about music paper is you can use the lines in the music to check. So there we go. And it fits really nice. Good. And we'll just pick that out of there. I'm gonna make sure that I like this side. I think I, mm, I like the way treble clefs look, so I think I want that piece to have treble clefs up. So, get our Mod Podge on. What are you guys working on for projects right now? I'd love to hear about it, what you're doing. You making a journal? Do you sew? Do you knit? Do you crochet? Pottery, ceramics, fine art, mixed media. What kind of things are you guys putting together? Are you a photographer? Do you do stuff like this, more dimensional kind of products? If you feel like putting it in the comments below, I'd love to know what kind of stuff you make.
there. And also what drew you to this, I mean, if you're planning to try to get some sort of printer's drawer and do something like this, I would love to hear about that and kind of what your plans are for putting in it, how you're going to design yours. That would be really fun to hear if you're going to try doing something like this. And it really, this isn't hard. It just, it takes patience, yes, but it isn't hard. So I believe you can do it. All right, only three more spots to go. Um, so now I really feel like we need maybe something pinkish, but not more wallpaper. So what's in the scrap pile, guys? Or, no, maybe not that. What have we got? What have we got? We do have this little pink. Oh, nope, it's not long enough. Uh, maybe a piece of ledger. Yeah, it might be too samey-samey right there. See, like ledger color, ledger color, ledger color. So it might be a little too samey-samey. You know what I'm going to have to do before we get going on this next time is... I'm going to have to find more pink paper. I've got this avocado dyed piece with text on it, and I think I'm going to do that. Did you guys see where my template went? I suppose I lost it in the scrap pile. Is this it? Oh, you guys, seriously. Here it is. No, that is, that is not it. That's it. Okay. I found the template and then I threw it on the floor because that makes great sense. Okay. So here's the template and here's some pink paper. I'm going to line that up on some of the text because I want the text and just cut. So what do you guys do? Are you off today? Do you work? Do you not work? Do you get to craft full time? What is your life like? What are you doing on a Wednesday? I did, um, this morning I did, it was good. I did that up and did the laundry and emptied the dishwasher and had Instacart bring some groceries and some chili ingredients before I got my chili in the crock pot. Got that in the crock pot. Um, what else have I, I, and oh, I had some things I'm working on that are gonna go in my Etsy shop. And I finished up those. And when I'm done with my video here, I am going to photograph them so that they're ready to go in. And then that will be a good day's work. So we're gonna check our pink piece and see if we like it and see if it fits. Oh, it's a little bit long, I think. Where's my pokey guy? It's a little bit wide, maybe, too. So let's give it just a little chomp. And a little chomp. Sorry, I apparently can't cut a straight line and talk at the same time. There. And I like it. Good deal. Get our friend Mod Podge here. And remember, I'm using a cheapy foam brush because it's cheap. Mod Podge is a glue, remember that. So it is a glue that is on your brush. If you've got some super nice artist brush, um, it's probably gonna ruin your brush unless you're super like careful and disciplined about your brush which I am not. So there we go. And get your handy dandy bone folder and make sure that that is nice and stuck in there. Get your head in there so you can see and check all your corners. Um, this isn't an all, it's like an, 
I think it's called an embossing tool. So it's got these holes on either end and it's really nice for pushing your corners down. So I would, I kind of recommend that over an awl because if you push, if you use an awl, which has a super sharp end and you push your paper down, it's going to make a little hole. Probably not the end of the world, but that's really nice because it's got that smooth round ball. Okay, you guys, we are at 30 minutes. So we're going to call it good for today. 30 minutes is a good long video. Now, I would like to promise you that by the time we come back, I'm going to finish, have at least the top very close to finished or finished. That's my goal. And my other goal is to be back with you on Friday, which is my next day off. And until then, I hope you have a great time crafting and I wish you every blessing. Thanks for watching. Bye.